Hey guys, another video for our buying a house in Japan playlist. A couple of our patrons were asking about this planning we'd done here. The concrete went down, cover some pipes. If you haven't seen that video, check that out. But the bit they're asking about is these two big pipes that the unskilled labourer stuck in the ground just before the concrete went down. So it was a spontaneous thing about 10 minutes before the concrete truck arrived. The realisation that this concrete was going to go right up to the boundary. So there was an opportunity there. There's a corner peg there, corner of the boundary, and another spot up here, which is just over the boundary as well, just within our boundary. So it was a spontaneous thought, hey, we could go with a couple of holes there later on, maybe to put up some sort of privacy screen, but we don't know exactly what yet. So the plan was to use a fairly large pipe to give us a big hole because we knew that the pipe wouldn't be vertical, that, it, that even if we made it vertical, it would get pushed around by the whacker packer and the concreters. Whoa, hello. So this is actually measuring up a smaller pipe because we suspect, we don't know what, exactly what the plan is going to be. We need to find out what happens next door first. But we suspect we might use a couple of poles that are about 48.6 millimetres so the plan was to use these big pipes to give us a hole through the concrete into the gravel underneath and then hopefully slide that big pipe out. But as you'd imagine, the concrete bonded to the plastic, so sliding it smoothly out of the hole wasn't going to happen. So instead of that, our unskilled labourer had to smash it into little pieces, which was okay, that was plan B anyway. Because we want the concrete we're going to put in in a minute to bond to the other concrete that's already there and go down deeper. So as you'll see, once we get that pipe out, the concrete's about mm, 10 centimetres deep and then underneath is gravel. So finally got that pipe out bit by bit. So obviously we let that concrete that we're sitting on there uh, dry for about five, six days to let it cure properly. Now this is just digging that hole a bit deeper because there's just gravel underneath the concrete, about 10 centimetres of concrete, and then there's just gravel and clay. So just making that hole as deep as possible while the opportunity's there. And the other one, same thing. So again, just tried to slide it out of there. <laughs> it's worth a shot. It's always good to have a plan A, B, and C. Sometimes plan A works, you know, and you go, oh, wow, it pops straight out. Other times, you have to move to plan B, and that doesn't work. You move to plan C. <laughs> Got to be flexible. Oh, that's the gas man turning up behind there with the bottles of gas. So, you're yeah, exactly the same situation there. Mixed up some concrete. Now they're the pipes, those pipes there are 54 millimetres plastic and the steel pipes that we suspect we might end up using for some sort of privacy screen are 48.6. So that'll be about right. So just don't know, we need to see, oh yeah, taped up the bottom just to stop the, because a very wet, wet mix of concrete to, was put in there to because we knew it would get down the bottom. So I taped up the bottom of that plastic pipe just to stop the wet mix getting in down the bottom too much, getting in the pipe. And then uses a spirit level now to make sure it's vertical in both directions. So yeah, until we see exactly what comes next door, we've got a pretty good guess of what's coming, but just want to see where things are, you know. We know it's going to be a, a boring box of a house. We know they're going to have a wire fence that doesn't provide any privacy at all. We just want to see where the windows and doors are, basically, before we put up a privacy screen so we know how big it has to be. So got to that point there. Those little yellow caps just keep the water out and then just left it for another four days for that concrete to cure. And then broke out the grinder, cut the pipe off, smoothed it off. 
and then stuck the little yellow cap in there. Doink. And that'll just keep the stones and water and so on from filling up those holes because we don't know how long it's going to be. It's probably going to be three or four months maybe until they get the place next door built, the places next door built. Um, and so it's just to keep it like that for now until we know what the plan is for the future. So I've got some more stories coming soon about what's going on next door. It's been a real pain in more ways than we anticipated. So I'll be pleased when it's finally done in some ways. So that's where we are now. That concrete's cured. We've got our little yellow caps in, so we're driving driving over that again now. No problem at all. Doesn't matter if we drive over those yellow caps, that won't matter. And then some stage in the future, when we can see what we're trying to get privacy from next door, we might put a couple of poles in there and some sort of screening across. So to those couple of people that were asking about that, that's what it is. It was hard to describe in a, in a message, wasn't it? <laughs> that was it. Anyway, more videos coming soon.